In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the lasso tool. Our lasso tool gives us two options. We have our freehand lasso, and we also have a polygonal lasso. So let's first start with our freehand lasso. And this allows us to select pixels that have an irregular shape. So when I just click and drag, what's going to happen is I'm going to create a selection area uh, as my mouse moves around the screen. So if I wanted to isolate or select this butterfly, I could simply click and drag and I'm going to be creating a marquee around the area in which my mouse moves. I'm going to get back to my starting point or as close as I can to my starting point and I let my mouse go. You're going to see that I now have a selection area that is around that butterfly. Just to show you the effect of this, I'm just simply going to move those pixels so I can see that my lasso tool has lassoed that butterfly and selected an irregular shape of pixels. What I'm going to do next is use my polygonal lasso tool. My polygonal lasso tool it allows me to click multiple points to select an area. So rather than freehand it, I can just simply click points and it will create a rubber band effect. So I'm going to choose my polygonal lasso tool and if I wanted to select, let's say, a few of these petals of this flower, I could just click right here and you can see that I have this rubber band effect. And I could then choose the top of this petal and the bottom of this and I can continue to kind of select some areas and then when I'm done if I head back to my starting point or very close it'll automatically connect those areas and then just to show you here what I've done is I've used that polygonal lasso to allow me to select a shape but it's more along a straight line versus just a freehand line